It's, uh, it's in our kids' schools. It's on the college campuses. It is in the workforce. Uh, it is in the streets. It's when you go to the store. I mean, like, you can't do anything in peace without this wokeness being shoved down your throat wherever you go. Um, so, do you have Tasty. a question? Is there something funny? I do. <laughs> yeah, sure. uh, how do you define wokeness? Wokeness is the destruction of normalcy and and um, how do you define <laughs> 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 You just watched stochastic terrorist Chaya Raichik of Libs of TikTok get laughed at because she couldn't define the thing that she was railing against, wokeness. You know, if wokeness really is as ubiquitous as she says, then in theory she should have no problem describing it since it's everywhere, but she couldn't. And it led to her having a Bethany Mandel moment. Now, if you don't remember who Bethany Mandel is, she is the so-called expert on woke who literally wrote an entire book about it, but still couldn't define it when she was asked to. Let's refresh our memories. Could, could, would you mind defining woke? Because it's come up a couple of times and I just want to make sure we're on the same page. So, I mean, woke is sort of the idea that... Um, I, this is going to be one of those moments that goes viral. I mean, indeed it was, but I'm sure that Bethany is now incredibly grateful that Chaya had her own Bethany moment because Chaya is perhaps the only person in the entire country who can actually make herself look dumber than Bethany when trying to define woke. But that's not surprising considering that this is the same person who gave us this banger when she was asked why trans people are bad. It's a lie. And what harm is it causing, do you believe? Um, I like the truth. I like truth. Right, but I'm saying, what what's the what's the harm of people expressing their gender identity differently than you believe it to be? What what harm are they causing? Um, like I said, we are a a um a nation of truth, and I I'm, I'm, I seek the truth. <clears throat> we are a nation of truth, and I seek the truth. Brilliant. What an intellectual powerhouse Chaya Raichik is. Now, I'm sure that you will be unsurprised to learn that her inability to define woke wasn't the only embarrassing moment from that event. So we're going to watch some more clips because they are gold. But first, I want to give you a little bit more context about this particular event. LGBTQ Nation reports, Raichik gave a speech yesterday at the Indiana Memorial Union at Indiana University in Bloomington, Indiana, alongside Representative Jim Banks. During her speech, she ranted about pornographic books and schools and moved on to her hatred of everything woke, which is when she was laughed at, by the way. They continue, two protesters who were chanting were taken away in handcuffs, according to the Bloomingtonian. Authorities haven't said whether they'll face charges. The paper reported that about two dozen people, mostly men, were in the front rows for Raichik's speech, while those who disagreed with her were towards the back. From a video posted to YouTube, the men in the front appeared to be much older than the average IU student, while the people towards the back appeared to be much younger. Hmm, interesting, isn't it? Now, the photos from the event that you saw were taken by Jeremy Hogan and published in the Bloomingtonian. And even though two protesters were removed, there were still people there with signs that were obviously heckling her. But here's one of the photos, courtesy of Jeremy Hogan, where somebody was holding up this sign that read, Libs of TikTok has blood on her hands. And she adds, also, Chaya is a stupid name. It means spinach tree. I'm calling you spinach tree from now on. Now, Jim Banks is running for the Senate, so I guess he thinks that Chaya is going to help his campaign. But he ended up stepping in to try to rescue her after she got laughed at for failing to define woke. Now, as Bryce Green, the person who shared these videos, points out, after she couldn't define woke, she passed the question on to Jim Banks, who then tried to define it himself and bail her out. But as you're going to see, it doesn't go very well for him either. The destruction of normalcy and, and um, I'm sick and tired of. Are those separate things? America isn't worth fighting and dying for. It's a great country. It's the greatest country in the history of the world. Uh, I, would say, I would say that attacks on our American way of life is what is. So that, that's broadly, though. Like, you know, Al Qaeda attacks American lives. Are they woke? Well, maybe in some ways. <laughs> Are they a woke terrorist group? So 
this is seeping into into everywhere. I'm sure that he thought that he was being really clever by broadly defining woke as anti-Americanism, but as you saw, he immediately got checkmated by a college student. Doesn't take much to put these folks in an intellectual chokehold because they don't know what they're talking about. It's just so ridiculous to me that the people who are screeching the loudest about woke, they can never define it. Why is this so difficult? Why can't you come up with at least an operational definition so that way we know at least what you're talking about, even if it may not be what woke generally is defined as like can't you give us anything they can't because they're full of shit but chai Rajik presumably continues on with her anti-wokeness screed and then she reached the dei portion and then claims uh that she made there also very stupid and so hyperbolic that she was laughed at once again because nobody was buying the bullshit that she was spewing DEI is code for less whites. Listen, as stupid as that sounds, she's at least trying to define the thing that she's talking about. So good job, Chaya. That's like 101 of speech giving. If you're going to talk about something and you want to inform people, then you need to define what you're talking about. But, you know, this is somebody who is an amateur who's just speaking out of her asshole. So, you know, if she happens to do something that might inform the audience about her own views, it's accidental purely, right? She's not actually trained to be an educator because she's a dumbass, right? She doesn't know what the fuck she's talking about. But the problem with her fear-mongering is that it's complete bullshit. Corporations never actually followed through with their promises to make their hiring practices less racist. As CNBC reports, companies like Google and Meta pledged to adopt more inclusive hiring practices in 2020 in the aftermath of the George Floyd protests, but didn't actually follow through on that promise and ended up gutting their own DEI programs just two years later. And this is indicative of a broader trend. So these companies made the DEI promise to make themselves look good, never followed through on it, and now conservatives are using that non-existent program as the boogeyman, which is why Chaya Rajchik was laughed at when she talked about how harmful these DEI policies have been, because everybody knows that is demonstrably untrue. But there's one more clip that Bryce shared that I want to show you, because it proves how little she's thought about her own worldview. And she said something similar in her interview with Taylor Lorenz, but she apparently hasn't learned from that because she doubled down on a point that defeats her entire worldview. Let's watch. For the rainbow bullies right here, could you define <laughs> What do you call it? There's zero gender. Uh, there's two Wait. Amazing, isn't it? <laughs> there's zero genders, according to Chaya Rajik. I don't think that she understands that that is literally the woke position, for lack of a better word. Perhaps she'd know this if she knew what woke meant and was able to define it. But, I mean, she doesn't realize that that is a woke thing to say because gender is a social construct. But the best part is that one of her fans tried to throw her a softball question in order to own the rainbow bullies, and he probably expected her to give the typical conservative answer and say, there's only two genders, suck it, libs. But instead, what does she do? She takes the woke approach and says there are zero genders. Love it. And she's correct because gender is a social construct that we all made up as human beings. Thus, we should be allowed to express ourselves however we want without the imposition of some arbitrary cultural parameters. Now, she said the same thing in her interview with Taylor Lorenz. You know, well, well, gender is actually made up. Exactly. Um, yes, we agree on this. Who 
Yeah, so apparently she didn't learn from her interview with Taylor. So I've got to say that the more Chaya talks, the more evident it becomes that she is her own worst enemy, right? And she plans on doing more of these events around the country. So I genuinely look forward to her getting stumped by the most basic questions imaginable because it's not just entertaining to see her look foolish because she is foolish, but it also sheds light on just how vapid and incoherent her worldview is and demonstrates how these types of people, they're not motivated by some like intellectual curiosity. It's all hate, pure and simple. That's what drives them. And that's why they sound so stupid when you ask them a question that kind of challenges their worldview. They don't know. They haven't thought about it. They just see gay people and trans people and think, ew, icky. And that's as far as their thinking has gone on the subject. And it shows with people like Chai Raichik. Woke ideology. Woke ideology. Woke ideology. Woke ideology. Woke ideology. Woke test. Woke ideology. Woke Olympics. Woke ideology. 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 Wo